This is the August 24, 2023 Helm developer meeting. It's just three of us, so I'm not going to skip all this stuff we all know. <laughs> uh, announcements, Karen? Uh, yeah, so just following up on our conversation from last week, um, I did submit the form uh, to request a project pavilion booth at KubeCon. So um, I put in a request for the PM hours. So hopefully that gets granted. I will keep everyone posted as that comes up. Cool. That's it. Cool. And then I put one thing on the agenda. Was actually glad you're here, Matt, because I was actually hoping to get your opinion on this one. Um, I don't see any. I don't see anything scary about this, but uh, PR that that changes. Uh, yeah, we we've discussed this one before. Unfortunately, this needs to be an opt-in flag because you're going to change Helm in um, not backwards compatible ways. Does it? I guess so. I wasn't sure. If it yeah, did. it okay. does, and everybody should probably use this. And I wonder whether the flag could have an environment variable you just set and forget. Um, that might not be a bad thing to not just have a flag, but also set it as a Boolean environment variable. You can, on your local system, you can set it and forget it. Um, but it does need to be an opt-in flag because it does change the rendered output we've had for forever. And it's some of the things like this that make me want to think about a Helm 4. Not as a drastic change, but as a cleanup major version bump. But doesn't it only change the behavior if somebody's modified the resource in Kubernetes? Yes, but that's still a change in behavior. Um, and so I'm following up. We, we had this discussion previously with a whole lot more people. And for compatibility, this was the conclusion we came to. Um, if somebody wanted to go through the meeting minutes at some point in the past, it is somewhere we had this conversation in a long-winded form. Okay. I think we had it here. But that's my only problem with it. Um, and it's stuff like this that makes me want to, at some point, maybe in 2024, do a Helm version 4 that's not something major, but that just goes through and makes changes like this, like removes that flag and makes it the default, stuff right. like that. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that changing the default would be nice for. Yeah. And so that's what I'm thinking anyway. We can talk about that later because I'm only going to propose a Helm 4 if I can actually carve out the time for it. And <laughs> so until I can carve out the time, I'm not going to propose it. But that's what I would do. Um, and by that point, I think we can probably switch over to things like the S-log package. There's a number of cleanup things we could target. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. I will comment on this one um, just so y'all know, and, and I'll give my two cents on this. I'll do that right after this call. Thanks. Uh, All right. Do uh, we have anything else? Yes, uh, assignments? Yeah. It's, you can me. take moderator. I can take I can take moderator notes. Any of them. All right. I'll uh, keep reviewing PRs. Okay. I'm getting through all the extra smalls and smalls, so I'm gonna just need somebody else to start reviewing stuff occasionally. <laughs> yeah. Um. I've got because we do have a minor release coming up. Um. I have a number of pull requests that are feature additions that are on my list to review, and I've got to find time this next week to really review those, but I have them open as tabs ready yeah. to go. So I can go take a look at them in their feature stuff. So I might ping you with some of that. I was say, is there anything that I haven't already looked at? So, okay, cool. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. That's it. Oh, thanks everyone. See you next week. Thanks. Oh, to the, oh George. George. George, you show up right as we're ending. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, okay. Short one. Cool. Yeah, it was. We just had uh, one issue, and um, the details are in there. Uh, I was going to ask one thing, which I didn't get a chance to put on the doc yet. Um, is it? Are we? Are we definitely done? Or <laughs> do we have? Uh, if you got a question, go ahead. Yeah. 
Uh, so my, my question was going to be about those security related issues that we semi frequently get pinged with, and uh, I, I didn't get a chance to dig one up. Um, but do do you know, do you know what I mean? Like people like uh, uh, CVZ scanners discover this vulnerability in Helm, and yeah, and and um, we're not going to do an out of band fix for a CVE scanner finding something. Um, we should be bumping the dependencies for the next release that fixes those. Okay. Um, and uh, so when the next true. release comes up, we should do that. But that's our standard thing. If they say, you know, a, a scanner found something in a dependency, oh my gosh. Um, we don't tend to do an out of band release unless it directly impacts Helm. It is rather egregious okay. um, because every month we have a release, right? Yeah, makes so sense we'll to do me. it yeah, there. I, I, I just wanted to understand like the position yeah. basically. So I wanted to be and, consistent with <laughs> with what everybody else agreed on when I when I answered those tickets and be like, yeah, you know, this okay. is something in like the Docker server, which <laughs> yes, it's in the Docker package, which Helm imports, yeah. but no, this doesn't impact Helm. So yeah, if it doesn't directly, and that's what a lot of them have been when people have brought them up lately. The ones I've seen have been around Docker, and they'll be doing things like when Docker is running something, the networking stack has a CVE in it. We right. don't touch yeah. any of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, I'm because agreeing, it doesn't yeah. affect us, we're not going to do an out-of-band release to bump that, but we'll bump it for the next release. Um, I do have that go, the, the I forget what the go go check. Yeah, I go bone check PR that I addressed your issue. We could add that to point people at it. We can also point people at the security tab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good ideas. But but that's the yeah. general. We're not going to bump okay. for every out of band thing. You know, we'd be having constant out of band releases, and we're not going to do that. Especially since that makes sense. There, it's their broken CV checker, not ours. So. Yeah, I, I wanted to say something impl impolite about these CV scanners. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I refrained. Um, yeah, the the other thing I was going to include on my updates was if if people want to see this, then to try and just be like, well, if you want to contribute time and funding, then <laughs> then. Yeah. When, yeah. when guys like my customer, the US government, he's unhappy. Well, not he, obviously, but you know, well, if your customers wants to pay for this, then we'd, we'd welcome that, <laughs> I guess. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So if your customer wants to invest in that, <laughs> go ahead. Um, but we don't tend to do those out of band releases for it. One release a month is, is good enough for us. And a lot of people don't know our release process. They don't realize we do a release every month. And so we do clean those up fairly quickly. Um, yeah, that's fair. And we can let them know, you know, here's our release process. We release on the second Wednesday of the month, except January, where it's the third Wednesday of the month. We do clean those things up for our releases by and large. So, um, you know, if a release is, you know, something like two weeks away, you can wait two weeks to get that fixed. For things like Docker is a dependency and you're pointing out an issue, this actually doesn't directly affect Helm. It is uh, the CVE scanners not being as smart as they could be because they're looking at the package level not the code path yeah. level yeah and because they don't realize that our code path isn't doing that um it's a rather dumb checker and so it's just missing this doesn't actually impact us and so we will get a release out soon perfect okay that answers my question that's uh that's Sweet. enough to to help here awesome thank you we can <laughs> continue to finish up do you happen to know how we use moby term Moby term? It's a bump PR from Dependabot, but I don't even know how we, how we use it, so. I don't either. Is it an indirect dependency or a direct one? It seems to be, a, yeah, it's a direct one. All right, I'll dig into it, I just hadn't. And, and it goes from some hash version to an actual release version, so. I wasn't sure if it's gonna break anything. Wait, did Dependabot do this? Yeah. To a hash version? No, oh, from a hash to a... Oh, yeah, that, okay. Well, so I'll need to check on it. It may just be that it did that. Some of the term stuff we do for display purposes, um, and there were packages that let us do things like tables and stuff like that, but I don't remember what packages we use. So it may be like MobyTerm has the ability to draw tables in the display, and that's why we're using it. Um, yeah. I'll look at it later. Okay. Well, hey, Ben. You're here now, too.
Did you have anything, uh, anything you wanted to bring up? If you're talking, you muted, but otherwise I'm gonna say uh, that was everything and I think we're done. Thanks everybody. Awesome, thank you.